Hello fellow Daz enthusiasts, this is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another tutorial. Now, I want to talk about hair again, and I've gotten several requests and questions asking if we can take Genesis 9 hair and move it to a Genesis 8 character. And the short answer is yes, we can do that. So today I'd like to show you how we can put a Genesis 9 hair on a Genesis 8 character. So I've got Milica here, looking cute as ever, and we're going to um, get rid of her Genesis 8 hair, and we're going to add Genesis 9 hair to her. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select Milica, and I'm going to put her in her A pose. All right, we're going to adjust her. I'm going to double click on her and make sure that she is in the 0, 0, 0 position, which she is. And now let's get rid of the hair that she has. I think in this case, I'm just gonna hide it. And then I'm gonna go find some Genesis 9 hair. Okay, so I do have some Genesis 9 hair and you can see it. So we just need to choose one that we might like. Um, let's do this one just because it has a nice uh, braid where we can um, see if we can manipulate it. So this is the BS French braid hair. The first thing I'm going to do is unclick my character and I'm just going to load the hair in by itself. This is going to be very similar to what we just did in my last tutorial where I took Genesis 8 hair and added it to a Genesis 9, but it's, we're going to have a few adjustments to make this work right. Okay, so we loaded the hair in. You didn't see it because it was off to the side, but here it is. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm gonna select Milica and I'm gonna move her over to where the hair ended up. All right, and then let's zoom in to her cute face. All right, so now I'm going to select that hair and I'm gonna adjust it so that it's correctly on her head. Now I have noticed that when I do this with Genesis 9 hair, we're going to have to enlarge it. You can see that um, the hair is smaller and that's because I believe Genesis 9 is a smaller character. So I'm just going to go to my scale here in parameters and I'm going to just bump this up a notch or two and that's gonna make the Genesis 9 hair slightly bigger and then we can adjust it more so we just want to get it so it looks like it's sitting naturally on Milica's head and so you can see we've still got kind of in that part there so I'm gonna make this even bigger I'm gonna bump it up to maybe 103 and then I'm going to readjust, maybe even a little bit bigger. I'm just making it taller here to adjust. All right. I'm going to look at the sides. That looks pretty good. We don't have to worry about that smooth area. And that um, pretty much matches. Now, of course, you know how I am. I've got to make Milika's hair black because that's the color of her hair. So I'm going to add black. And then we can run a quick eye ray preview, make sure everything looks okay, and then we'll move to the next step. All right, that looks pretty good. You know, it's just a matter of adjusting. Make sure the back of her head is covered. Everything looks pretty good. All right, she might have a little bit of a part there. We, we could raise the hair a little bit if we wanted to, but I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go back down to texture shaded. And now all we have to do is move the hair just like we did with the Genesis 8 hair on the Genesis 9 character. I'm just going to move the Genesis 9 hair up to Milica's head. And now what's cool is we can still adjust this. So this hair is kind of limited but we can adjust this ponytail. See, I can move it around. And what's also cool is all of the hair's adjustments, if we select the hair again, all of the hair 
uh, pose controls are functional. Adjust. So see, I can adjust the hair. So these adjustments all work, which is pretty cool. Like, let's take a blow dial and see what happens. Oh yeah, see, I can adjust the hair. So now our Genesis 9 hair is on a Genesis 8 figure. You know, what's kind of nice too is when you buy Genesis 9 hair, a lot of times it just comes with Genesis 8 and Genesis 8.1. So you kind of get all three at once, but if you have just a Genesis 9 hair, you can set it up the same way. Just thought I'd let everyone know this because I got some questions on my last video. All right, let's get her into a nice pose. We will render up a picture and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and shoot me a few comments. That's what inspires me to make my tutorials. A lot of them come from the ideas you give me, so keep them coming. I really appreciate your patronage. Take care.